No, 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 Today's Saturday, and while Mommy and Daddy went to the movie to see uh, Catching Fire, what's the name? The Hunger Games, and out to eat, we're watching Gavin. This is Saturday evening, and we've been working on the puzzle. How long, Kevin? Couple of hours? Yeah, probably. And Andrew came over to help. And he's done quite a bit of it himself. And Ashley spit a couple of pieces. Um, I did the whole tree. I'm kidding, I didn't. Two pieces. Two pieces. <laughs> Shut up. Well, they got to the final piece, and there is one piece of the puzzle missing. And we don't know what happened to it. Um, but, uh, that's it. It's a very pretty, it's a very pretty puzzle. Okay, it is Sunday morning, and we are not going to church this morning. We're up early, but there is freezing rain falling, and I'm going to put my camera outside the door so you can hear it, and it's on the cars, on the windows. And look at the sidewalk out there. The sidewalk is covered with a layer of that ice. So, we will be missing church, and we hate that because we love it, but it's just too bad out there. Kevin said that the steps are ice, and he is going to start his car. And the sidewalks still look, um, they look icy, like slushy combination. Um, and there's Ashley's little car and my car. But the roads, I mean, you see cars are driving down the road. Okay, he let it sit here for about 10 minutes. And it seems to be coming off pretty good. But you can see that's all all ice. Looks like ice you get at McDonald's. Ice you would get at McDonald's. Oh, ice you would get in a McDonald's cup. Yeah. So we're going to go out and see how the roads are. Okay, the roads seem to be fine so far. Getting on the ramp to uh, the interstate. Kevin says that the interstates are taken care of, uh, the first roads that are taken care of before any others, but look, there's a truck over there stopped on the other side. I wonder why. Well, we made it over here. The interstate was fine. And there's the big balls. I love those. And Pier 1. And then you have Barnes & Noble right here. And we are going to Kohl's, but I'll tell you what's over here in this uh, shopping center. Um, you have Target and Ulta and DSW Shoes, Old Navy, Dick's, um, Rack Room Shoes, Bath and Body, Big Lots, Dress Barn, 
Kohl's, and then there used to be a Office Depot. Something like Office Depot or something next to Kohl's, but it's not there anymore. And then at the end down there, you have a Garden Ranch. And then right in front of us is a Regal, the Regal Cinema, which I showed in another vlog. Uh, and then Babies Are Us. And then over that direction is a whole other huge group of stores. Like uh, The Gap and American Eagle and Victoria's Secret. Kirkland's, Yankee Candle, there's just all kinds of stuff over there. Kevin made bacon sandwiches for dinner with uh, bacon and tomato and mayonnaise. No lettuce though. Do you miss the lettuce for crunchy? I had a little crunch, but that's good. Is it good bacon? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Today is Monday. Uh, this vlog will be, I guess, a little different because it has some of uh, three days instead of just two. Um, some of Saturday and Sunday and then today. Uh, Saturday, we didn't leave the house at all. Um, and then Sunday, we did leave the house, but it was in the afternoon. I showed you um, how icy it was, and then it, it kind of... Um, got a degree or two above freezing so the roads weren't bad and the ice melted a little bit so we went to Kohl's and then Kroger and Walmart and the Kroger and Walmart Walmart haul will already be posted um, and at Kohl's we just bought a couple of shirts and we wanted to use our Kohl's cash because if you don't know Kohl, uh, when you shop at Kohl's and you spend over a certain amount during a certain time, they only give you Kohl's cash during a certain time, but when you spend over a certain amount of money, they'll give you a certain amount of Kohl's cash for every, uh, like, I don't know, $50 you spent. So we had spent so much money at Kohl's that we had $45 in Kohl's cash and we didn't want that coupon to expire. It expires today, but we don't shop at Kohl's on Monday. Uh, so, uh, we wanted to go yesterday. So, we spent our Kohl's cash, and Kevin bought a couple of dress shirts. Ashley had $15 herself in Kohl's cash, so she bought, uh, something. And, um, so that was yesterday, and then we really didn't do much of anything. That's why I didn't put a, a vlog up for Saturday and Sunday. We just did not do a lot this weekend. Most of our Christmas presents are bought. We will buy a couple more gift cards for people to go to restaurants, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, even stocking stuffers and stuff like that. And I will do a video of stocking stuffers, but you won't see that till after Christmas because I don't want, we only buy, uh, do stockings for uh, my son and his wife and our daughter and they will see, they would see the video if I did it early. So I'm waiting till after Christmas to do uh, do a video about the stocking stuffers, but, um, other than that, we just watched, uh, watched a TV show all day. I wanted to show you our advent, uh, calendar, and we use this every year. We've had this for a long time, and it's really, really cute, and every single day, you just take the, um, piece out, and you put it on the calendar, and so today is the 9th, and it's a little snowman, so I will just put it up there, and it's Velcro, it's really easy, and so then um, they go through, and then the last one, Christmas Eve, is of course Santa, and he will be at the top of the tree on Christmas Eve, I'll try to remember to show that if we're not too busy, um, but Anna and Ashley used to fight over what pieces they were going to get to put up. Um, they wanted certain pieces, so I had to make sure that, like every other day, uh, Ashley would get to put up a piece, and then Andrew, and Ashley and Andrew, and they would take turns, but I had to make sure that it w when it was their day, that, you know, Lord forbid, they don't get to put up the piece they want to, and now it's funny, because Andrew has his own house, so he's gone, and Ashley has absolutely no interest, could care less, in uh, doing this at all so I still think it's fun I guess that's just the little kid of me and we decided to put it here in the hall because there was already a nail 
and uh, so we just we just hang it up in the hall and then we can see it I wanted to say too regarding the puzzle uh, that was in the video earlier we never did find that puzzle piece there was one puzzle piece missing and we never did find it and Andrew helped us look for it for a long time after he left I mean after he left that makes sense, doesn't um, After we finished the puzzle, he helped us look for it for a long time Saturday evening, and we never found that one piece. And, um, you know, years ago, that would have really, really bothered me. But for some reason now, not so much. I mean, it, it's a puzzle. I'm not going to get tore up over a puzzle. But I do want to show you something else while I'm thinking about it. This is what I wanted to uh, talk to you about, believe it or not, popcorn. We're going to talk popcorn here. I'm going to try to save you some money. I'm going to try to save you 5 or $6 from making the same mistake that Kevin and I did in purchasing uh, these popcorn tins. Uh, they sell these at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid. Um, anywhere where you're going to find a popcorn tin, these are probably the popcorn tins you will find. They are made by Signature Brands. Um, and this one is one that we had bought years ago. This is made, uh, this popcorn was made by Houston Harvest. Um, this is three and a half gallons of popcorn this i don't know how many gallons it is um it's actually one pound eight ounces so however many gallons that converts to that's what it is i not good with the conversions here but you can see the difference in sizes there is quite a significant difference as a matter of fact this tin will fit inside this tin um I kept this because I use it for storage. Um, these are great for storage. Um, this is actually what I, uh, we put our angel in every year. She came um, in this container, our uh, tree topper angel, and it fits right down in here and it keeps her safe with uh, other things around her. Um, I have a picture from the, what the popcorn looked like uh, years ago that came in this tin and I will insert that here and from that picture you can tell it came with cheddar caramel and buttered popcorn uh, and the cheddar was that orangey cheddar it was absolutely wonderful that's the whole reason really why we bought the popcorn tin is for that cheddar cheese it, it just uh, had a phenomenal taste to it um, and then, uh, so we bought the popcorn tin this year, uh, opened it up, Ashley opened it up, and she was devastated because she thought that they did not have any cheese in this tin. Um, when in fact, they do have cheese, cheddar, but it's white cheddar. Um, definitely not the same thing. Uh, this popcorn I did not take a picture of, but this is the caramel and the butter and then the white cheddar and the caramel has an okay taste the white cheddar and butter might as well be just plain popcorn because there is a very very little flavor to it at all um, it, it's uh, very little flavor. But what happened is uh, Houston Harvest um, sold uh, their company to the Signature, is that what it's called? Yeah, Signature Brands. Signature Brands bought Houston Harvest. So now you can no longer find Houston Harvest. And that is a shame because uh, we went online trying, to, we thought, you know, we would rather buy it online and buy quality and have it shipped to our home than buy this uh, secondary brand. Um, and we were uh, really saddened to find out that Houston Harvest is no longer in business. 
They were in Franklin Park, Illinois. And uh, this tent in particular, I, I chose this one to keep out of a lot of the ones that we had bought because it had this, a beautiful picture on it. And it came with a puzzle. It came with a 500 piece puzzle on the top that was match the picture around the uh, tin. Um, these uh, signature brands, you can find puzzles on the tops, uh, I think for a few more dollars. You can also find, I think they have like toys and stuff like that that you can get on the top. Um, just know that if you buy this, you're not buying the good brand of popcorn that you're used to having. You know, for us, different foods signify different times of year. And towards the fall, winter type of uh, time of year, we would look forward to the popcorn tins. Oh, and have you seen the popcorn tins? And what kind of popcorn, you know, what's gonna be the picture on the tin this year? We would get really excited about the popcorn tins. Um, and unfortunately now, uh, I'm not looking forward to the popcorn tins anymore. I will never, ever, ever buy this brand again. I've learned my lesson. I bought two of these. I uh, bought one for us because Ashley had requested it, and I bought one for um, Andrew and Christina, and uh, that's my son and daughter-in-law, uh, if, if you don't know. And um, they had not actually they had not opened their tin yet, so I had to let my son know it's not the cheddar you're used to; it's actually white cheddar. Um, but I just hate it that I, I, I blew $5 a 10 on this uh, product because it's not a good product. So I wanted to let you know, just a little tip from me, that um, you are not going to get the flavor out of this signature brands as you did the Houston Harvest. I don't know. I can't imagine why they would have sold their company, what would have happened, because you would think they would make a killing off these tins because as far as I knew everyone loved these tins and I mean they sold like hotcakes now these things are stacked up um, and I don't know maybe other people have seen too that it's not the same thing and maybe they're not selling like they they used to but signature brands uh, they really need to know that I've noticed the size and I've noticed the uh, quality of the popcorn of the product and also white cheddar does not taste like cheddar so uh, anybody from the company that's listening uh, I hope you take note uh, because I will never buy this and I will never recommend this product to my friends well it's um, after dinner now and uh, Kevin and I just finished eating and Ashley and uh, Kevin actually did two reviews, um, so you will uh, get to see those on another video. Um, but I've been thinking all day, wondering about uh, Christmas cards and whether I want to send out Christmas cards, because now's the time that I would normally have those ready and mailed. And I've heard from several people saying they're not going to send Christmas cards, people that normally send me a card. And last year, there were, I don't know, there were a bunch of people last year that decided that they weren't going to send out cards either. And so I'm thinking that I'm not going to send out Christmas cards this year. I just, um, I feel like I don't want people to feel an obligation like if I sent them one to send me one back. I know I feel an obligation when people send me a card. I feel obligated to send one back, and it makes me happy. I love getting cards. I love sending cards, but I wouldn't want someone to ever feel like they, uh, if they hadn't planned to send cards, that they had to send me one just because I sent one to them. Does that make sense? So, I think with social media, media and everything, I think a lot of people feel like, you know, with Facebook, like they get on Facebook and they'll say Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, and I think they feel like they've covered it and they don't want to spend the money on postage. You know, and a lot of people, uh, I guess, didn't grow up sending cards. So, um, but with postage, the way it is now, it's just so expensive. 
And of course, that's why it does keep going up is because we keep paying bills online and all that. And we don't use uh, the post office as much. So it makes sense that post has just gone up. But then again, people don't want to, uh, it makes people not want to mail things either. So anyway, I know I ramble on, but uh, all that to say, um, I'm not going to send out Christmas cards this year. I think when we make like, bourbon balls and Chex Mix and stuff like that and put them in tins and give them to people, uh, then um, those people I will personally give a card to with, along with their food, uh, but I just won't use the post office. Um, but anyway, Kevin and I went to the Dollar Tree tonight, and uh, let me show you uh, just something small we picked up. Kevin found these uh, Red Hots. Uh, and I've always loved Red Hots, but this was in a two-pack, and I opened it up, and these are cinnamon mints, and uh, it's a fat-free food, not that that matters to me, because the only thing I count is are uh, the calories, um, but I guess that makes it handy to, this makes it handy to hold on to, but I looked on the package, and they are like 1.5 calories each. So, usually a uh, piece of gum is five calories or less. So, you could have five of these, or four just to be safe, four of these uh, for the same as a uh, pack of gum. So, I will be trying these, and I'm sure I'll love them because, like I said, I've always loved uh, Red Hots. And I took one out, and they are about the size of a Tic Tac. And they're hard like a Tic Tac. Um, I remember like Red Hots from my childhood being kind of like squishy. And these aren't. These are, these are hard, um, just like a Tic Tac. Um, so you could suck on these for a long time. And like I said, you can have four for the same as a piece of gum as long as you don't have to talk like i'm having to do <laughs> you'll be fine it's try it's kind of hard to try to keep it in your mouth i don't want to spit it out at the camera uh while you're talking so it turn white it's really good though it has a nice nice flavor to it i would buy those again i would definitely buy those again so anyway um, we are just going to, um, uh, take showers and we have a couple of shows we're going to watch on TV tonight. That'll pretty much wrap up Monday and then tomorrow I have the little man Gavin and I'm looking forward to that because I haven't seen him since Saturday when I had him for a couple of hours. So, uh, this is my Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday week with Gavin. She, uh, his mom works once a month on half days on Saturday. So, um, this is that odd week, but, um, I can't wait to have him. And, um, I hope you all had a good, uh, Monday night.